Hey everyone, Dr. Chad Frisch here. Today we're going to talk about a very important topic. Today we're going to talk about kids and chiropractic. Now before you're stepping back, we're going to make sense of this for you. When we first start our development, now the first thing to form on the embryo is something called the primitive streak. Hang with me here. The primitive streak turns to something called the notochord, which turns to the brain and the spinal cord. So the number one first thing to form in the bodies is the brain, the spinal cord, or the nerve system. So think of how important the first thing to form in anything is, much less the body. It is the number one most important, hands down, the most important thing. All right, so the first thing to form is the nerve system. Now, you think there could be some stressors that happen during that birth process. Absolutely. Now, most people are aware that the umbilical cord supplies nutrients to the fetus. But did you know, recent research in science actually shows that emotional stresses by the mom can actually contribute to stresses on the baby, neurochemically and neurologically. So if I'm in a very stressed emotional state, a lot of those neurochemicals can be sent to the baby. Well, we don't want that, do we? But it's a stressor that can happen. So that's number one thing that can happen right from the get-go. But also, once we get to that delivery process, do you think there could be other some other stressors? Mom's like, heck yeah. But think of them the, the fetus or the baby standpoint. So what happens is I could be in there a longer time than expected. I could have a C-section. That can be very stressful, especially on the upper part of the neck. I could have vacuum extraction. I could have forceps that are used. So we have all these potential stressors onto the nerve system. We're going to use this chart to explain the rest. So what can happen when we have a lot of stress? is the body can be in a very sympathetic state. Now I'm doing this because it can be like the body's on the, the gas pedal, like everything's overstimulated. So what can happen from birth? Developmental issues, behavioral issues, constipation, ear infections, sinus, colicky, troubles with sleeping, all those things have the potential if there's stress on the nerve system. So what does chiropractic do? How does this come into play? An adjustment can be very safe and gentle on a child. I, oftentimes like you think of like a ripe avocado, like. If you think of like you bruised an avocado, that could be the amount of pressure that could be used, depends on the circumstance. But the goal with what we do is to take stress and tension off of the nerve system. So instead of being a sympathetic where we're in this stimulated fight or flight state, we go to a parasympathetic state. Parasympathetic means the body can be in a more relaxed state. I can sleep better. I can digest things better. I have less reflux. The body's in a more relaxed state. My behavior improves. My development improves. Everything's on track now developmentally. There's a lot of benefits that can happen when the body's not in this state of stress. So that becomes a major goal. Another thing to think about now, especially with kids, we have a lot of these medications that they're on that I see on a daily basis that kids are on. Vyvanse, Focalin, Ritalin, Adderall, Concerta. Obviously they can cause some problems as well. We know the intention of them, but do we want a child to have a completely different personality when they're on? Absolutely not. Do we want a child to have appetite suppression or they don't want to eat during the course of the day because they're on these medications? Absolutely not. So if there's something else that can be done to benefit a child in a more natural state to use what the body already, already has and just increase how it works, that might be a good first step to consider. I hope this makes sense to you guys and please consider getting your child checked. Whether it be here, whether it be somewhere else, we can definitely find you the right person, but we wanna make sure that those children are getting the care that they need and getting checked appropriately so they can function and develop and optimize their health long into the future. Hopefully you're getting a bunch out of this. We look forward to seeing you again soon.